President Biden says he's weighing what to do about gas prices after OPEC rebuffed his summertime request to pump more oil and did the opposite this week. OPEC's production cut will put pressure on gas prices here and now members of Congress are putting forth proposals to punish the cartel. Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively reports from Washington. It is a disappointment and it says that there are problems. President Biden said he's disappointed OPEC is cutting oil production, but other Democrats are furious and calling for action against Saudi Arabia. I don't know whether their motivation was to hurt the American people, but the fact is it does hurt the American people. This is a giant glaring message from the Saudis that no, we don't share your interests. The administration plans to release another 10 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve next month, but OPEC plans to slash production by 2 million barrels a day. Some Democratic lawmakers want to yank U.S. troops from Saudi Arabia in retaliation. The Wall Street Journal reports the president is also considering scaling down sanctions on Venezuela's authoritarian regime to let Chevron restart oil production there. Very surprising move, but certainly one of desperation as oil prices now drifting higher ahead of the midterm elections. Republicans want the Biden administration to do more to increase drilling at home and make the U.S. energy independent. We could have other nations dependent upon us. China could be dependent upon us. That would help foreign policy and also make the world a safer place. Another plan being floated on Capitol Hill is called NOPEC that could open up members of OPEC to antitrust lawsuits. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.